Hey everybody, what is going on? I'm got something on my mind, I got a confession. You guys out there who are new to YouTube, I'm really new to YouTube and don't know how to make thumbnails yet. I get asked a lot, Rizza, how do you make your thumbnails? Well, I'm gonna show you. It's really easy. Download uh, Photoshop. I'm not gonna show you anything else because everything else is shit. Um, it's really cheap. You can subscribe. I think it's like 13 bucks Australian or 16 bucks Australian um, a month. Um, but you get a lot of use out of it. All your videos you get to use it for. Um, man, you can do so much with it. So it's not just thumbnails. So yeah, anyway, moving on. Basically, how big is a thumbnail? Let's have a look. So just with a simple YouTube uh, search. So we're going to go uh, YouTube thumbnail size. Just going to stick with my own search. So it's 1280 by 720 with a minimum of 640 pixel width. So open up your photo shot, which you've previously downloaded because you totally paused the video and fucking downloaded it when I told you to. Otherwise, it's going to be really confusing. Um, so we're going to open up Photoshop. Whoop! Wait for that to boot up. And then we're going to go to File and New. And you're going to put in here, in, you're going to go custom. So 1920 by 720. Is that right? 1280 by 720. And there we have it. Um, your base for the, your Picasso of thumbnails. Now, you really have to decide sort of what you want to do. You got to go with the theme. It can't be too misleading because people won't follow you or they won't want to watch it and they'll get shitty. Like, well, what is this? This has nothing to do with this. And where? <laughs> Unlike. So, let's just say you're building a water based design, right? And you want to give everybody a video on water based designs because there's not enough already, you know? Um, so, what are you going to do? You need a background. You just start with a background. So, let's go to Google, right? Um, let's look up blue backgrounds. Blue is the color of water, usually, unless it's shit water. You can go to images. Uh, so, you got all these different options. You don't want to go with anything that's too bold. You want something light, something you can sort of edit. Um, something like this. So we click on that, copy that image, and paste that, control V that shit into Photoshop. And voila, you have a background, right? It looks like water, we're on the right track. So what are we gonna do? We need text. So with your text box over here, you click that and then click on your face and your little flashing text box opens up. Let's write um, crazy, oh, fucking spelling, crazy water base design. Right, fucking crazy. White on blue is always good, white on dark colors, but it doesn't really stand out. So what you want to do is what I like to do, and I lot, you'll see in a lot of my videos, right click on over here on your layers, um, click on your text, right click blending options, then click on stroke and ticket and click the box. So what it's done now is it's put an outline on it, but it's white. So we'll change it across to black. And as you can see, it's now got a black outline, which is adjustable from here. So get it to where you want it. Um, there's a couple of other options. I don't really bother with them too much. And you want to line that up pretty well. Now, you could just do that across the whole thing. It would look pretty amateur, even though I'm pretty amateur. Like, anyway. Um, but what you want to do is add, make it pop a little bit more. So people, when they're searching on there, they know that it's for Rust. And that's their game. And it's not some random misleading video. So... We want the Rust logo. You're going to find it all over the show. I like using the official one here. Um, when you click on it, you got the PNG, which means we'd see his little checkers uh, behind the logo. You can save that and put that across your, and it won't have a background into Photoshop. Uh, if you know what I mean, I'll show you in a second. So we're going to save that. 
pops up here. So show and f oh, fuck off. Show and folder, and drag that into your file. Right. So as you can see, it's got no background, which looks pretty killer. Uh, behind the logo, you just put it there. So you can put it anywhere and you can overlay it on anything. So we want to make that a little bit bigger. I'm going to scale that. So people know this is Rust. Now, same again, blending options. Uh, I'm going to go stroke. But black and dark colors don't go together. So we're going to go white. All right, but it's too thick. So all you want to do is just enough for it to stand out so it doesn't blend into the background. Now, what you can do is, uh, you can either leave it like that. I mean, that's good. That's straight to the point. Um, you can go one up. You could uh, probably just, you know, bring the opacity of that down a little bit. And, uh, you know, let, let, let's add one more thing. Let's look up uh, Rust Blueprint. There we go, building plan. Do we want that one? No, we'll go this one. Copy image. And save image. And you want to drag that into your thing there. You want to scale it. Now, scale it holding shift. All right, I'm going to scale it up first before I tell you why. If you don't, hang on, let me just move this to the top. If you don't, and you want to transform the scale, hold shift, you can go like this. And it's fucked, because you lose the whole perspective, especially when you're using high quality images, people, shit like that, they look all fucked up. So, you want to get it about right, and if you hold shift, now, see how it just holds it square? You're never going to go wrong. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pop that to the right side there. We're going to transform, scale, done. So transform, uh, rotate. There we go. So and hit enter. Um, now where are we going to go? I'm going to move Rust across a bit. We're just going to rescale Rust so we can fit it all in. And uh, confirm that by hitting enter. Uh, select the building plan again, and we want to go back, transform, uh, rotate that. So, I really wouldn't mind fitting that in, like that there. Probably just edit, transform, scale, bring, hold shift and rescale that. There we go. So, just to incorporate a little bit more, using an in-game logo, it looks sick, uh, pops out, straight to the point. And being straight to the point is what you want. You want people to know what your video is about. If you've got a hell cool name for it, by all means use it. It's sick. Like, I love it. it that gets me to click. And I feel that if things get me to click, that that's what I'd want to do. Then that's what I do in my videos, because that's the whole point of it. So, I hope you had fun. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you don't know how to actually upload YouTube thumbnails yet, please follow the link in the description below. It'll tell you all about how getting your channel to the stage where you can put thumbnails on. It's all about getting an, an approved uh, channel, which isn't really hard. Um, so I expect everybody now to use thumbnails instead of your shitty standard, um, standard issued thumbnails because these look awesome. They don't take long. We made this in only a couple of minutes and um, yeah, so there's not much to it. Okay, so basically we're all done here. All we got to do now is save it as a JPEG to be able to upload it as a thumbnail to YouTube. So you just want to do that by clicking File, Save As, and see these are a uh, Photoshop format. So you want to click down here. Uh, we're going to click JPEG and rename it. Let's just call it uh, Waterbase Thumbnail. You know, because using lowercase as capitals these days is the shiz. And um, go from there. So click save. And then you just want to go on maximum and click OK. And then that's saved and now you can upload that to YouTube.
So make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe. I know it's a bit different to what I normally do, but I mean, I've seen a lot of people not doing thumbnails and a few guys have asked me now how I do mine. I've already helped a couple of people out. So please come back and I'll see you guys next time.